Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good day, yep. good time zone to you all. And welcome back <laughs> to our second of three live streams to go ahead and talk about what's going to be coming with Destiny 2 Into the Light on April 9th. As a reminder, everything you're about to see is available to all players, just as was everything last week when we went ahead and had a chance to go ahead and walk through Onslaught. Uh, now, today we've obviously got a few topics that we touched on last week. We got a new social space to go ahead and check out. Oh, yeah, I forgot they got the new social uh, space. And maybe a, a, an up-close and personal look at the Brave Arsenal. But of course, I'm not the only one who's going to be talking through it. I'm joined by an all-star cast of folks here from the Bungie development team. And I'm going to go ahead and go on down the line and introduce them. If you were here last week, you obviously recognize his face. But uh, Tom Farnsworth, senior design lead, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. A little bit about myself here. I've been yeah. at Bungie for about 12 years, maybe a little longer. It's been a while. A decade uh, plus. And obviously there's some stuff we're going to be looking at today that's kind of like full circle. Yeah. You know, the Space Tiger logo yep. in the light there from the early <laughs> days of Destiny. And uh, I've been fortunate to, you know, I, I was able to place the Kavastov way back yeah. in, in Cosmo for you all to pick up. Oh, did that, you really? Yeah, that was, that was something I think. I, obviously it was the foundation. Teams are Stronger Than Heroes is a big team effort, but yeah. I, there's a few things that I, I'm really having a, had a chance to work and proud to, to interact with players. And then there's some things I'm, I'm a little more infamous for. There we go. More, like, I was wondering like, why the, the quality the looks so bad. Drop and homecoming. <laughs> um, so follow them on Twitter, let them know how you thought about that, right? And then yeah. over the past few years, I've been working on, on seasons and, yeah. and things like the 30th and Into the Light very as exciting. a creative lead. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you very much for your hard work. As someone who's played a lot of it, uh, excited to go ahead and dive in more with even more of it today. And of course, also we're joined by Chris Proctor, senior design lead here at Bungie. Uh, Chris, for the fine folks at home who may not have heard you on a podcast or know anything about you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Bungie? Yeah, hey Andy, thanks. Uh, yeah, I joined Bungie four and a half years ago as a weapons feature lead for Destiny 2. Um, so a bunch of Destiny releases. This will be my 17th with Into the Light. That all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> going through like a bunch of greatest hits. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be cool. We obviously have a lot of stuff to talk through with the Brave Arsenal today, and uh, greatest hits, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. The Brave Arsenal. Of course, last but very Ooh, not like least, that. down at the end, the one and only Kelsey Rice, systems designer here at Bungie. Kelsey, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing great. All right, well, obviously the, uh, the third verse, same as the second and the first. For the folks at home uh, who may not know you or know anything about your work, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Bungie? Yes, I'd love to. Um, first, yes, I'm a systems designer at Bungie. I've been here for about two and a half years, um, and I work on a lot of fun stuff like quests and pursuits and progressions, a lot of like spreadsheet design, which the I really love. The fabric that holds all of our <laughs> adventures together, honestly. Yes. Very exciting. Well, obviously, you've had, had a big hand in Into the Light as well today. We're going to go ahead and dive into that here in just a bit. Um, but, you know, before we go ahead and dive on, and is there anything you guys are excited about today in particular, or should we just go ahead and show rather than just tell? What do you think? Show it is. Yeah. All right, let's go yeah. ahead and dive on in. <clears throat> dive oh, sweet. on in rather. So we're going to start off. We have a brand new social space, the Hall of Champions, that we're going to go ahead and check on out. Kelsey, shall you? Uh, Kelsey's the one who's responsible for taking us through that. So <laughs> shall you return to the throne world, obviously, and dive on in? Bring me your tithes. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> there are tithes to be gathered. Uh, now, while we're on the way, uh, Tom, Hall of Champions is, is a brand new social space here in Destiny 2. Uh, where is this? Where are we going to, like, where's this place been? Why are we checking it out now? So Shax has carved out just a, a little, little bit of the, the backstage of the tower. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to see a, a few little little fun nods here to, to Destiny history. Yep. All right, we'll um, now on screen. Yeah, we've got Kelsey on screen okay. here. We've got Sweepy Bot. Uh, <laughs> and this is actually the lead up to the Hall oh, of Champions. Oh, okay. This is where they keep it all the time. <laughs> yeah, this is where, you know, th there's an off season. Oh, the for, seasonal for a lot stuff. Of That's kind of yeah. cool. A little and, uh, and yeah, <laughs> so there, there's some, uh, some greenery. This is interesting. All right, so we've, we've found a bit of the storage room to a degree. Uh, so he's he's carved out space maybe that has uh, been hiding in plain view potentially for other sweeper bots or, or red jacks around the tower. And there's, oh, there's some stuff from uh, the, uh, the Onslaught, this ADU. Oh, that's right, yeah. Some little, some Noah little... put it here himself. <laughs> no, and, and, and all the space, like, uh, if, if we just take a step forward, you're going to get, there we go. Here's the champions. Oh, Here's wow. The Hall of champions. All right, so this um, is the Hall of Champions. And just like uh, Zer kind of carved out Eternity, Mm -hmm. uh, for the 30th anniversary, uh, Shax has, has kind of set this space aside for us and into the light where the, the, all your armor, your weapons, your rewards. This is going to be your, your home base for the light. Excellent. Oh, okay. Awesome. So right, I guess well, this is... Kelsey, uh, this can you go ahead and show us a little bit? We're going to go ahead and walk up here. We see a oh, whole wait, I, of chests, I just actually. noticed the... Uh, Let's go ahead and start there. The, what are we, what the are we rectal site of the... I think that's the right. recluse yeah, so in her hand. As you can see, this space is just full of chests. As you can see here, all the class icons on the floor. A little bit like 30th. Uh, you can come here to uh, redeem this 
currency, uh, trophies of bravery that you're going to earn from completing Onslaught okay. and playing the broad game in Destiny. Um, so all of these trophies here, if you progress your hype with Shax, uh, you'll be able to spend them here at all these chests to get a really cool set of armor. I can pull open my character so you can see what that looks like on the hunter. That's right. Also too, oh, so for okay. the folks That's at home, uh, we, we went ahead and mentioned this as well online, but as a quick reminder, this is actually an armor <laughs> set that is, that's inspired by year one of Destiny 2. Um, Tom, this is the, the parade armor set, I believe is what we're referring yeah, to it as. So like, the, it's the, 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 the uh, yeah, D2 year one parade armor. That's right, yeah, yeah. You, you had it in Homecoming. It's kind of a classic set. We're again, like full circle here. With, oh, know, we wow, like, okay, that's our, actually kind of cool. The saga there, and now we're kind of, you know, ending the huh. fight here. We're getting ready to take the fight to the witness, and Shax has yeah. got this this iconic set of armor. We're calling it the parade armor uh, 2.0. Yeah. And um, they, they, everyone can, Earn it. It's available to all players. Excellent. And uh, there's some other cosmetics we can show off here that kind of play with it too. Very nice. <laughs> and also too for uh, folks out there, we obviously we have the hunter here. Actually, Kelsey, can we check out the uh, the armor set one more time? Yeah. For the folks at home. Uh, also too, so this is uh, an up close and personal look, obviously, at this armor set, uh, which will be so available cool to, to everyone that goes ahead and jumps into Into the Light. Um, also see, too, there's uh, a Titan set and a Warlock set. We should also huh, say. I also uh, noticed that, that there's a couple. In the well, I guess there's returning weapons, but I guess obviously there's some new weapons. Because I don't recognize that grenade launcher. Yeah, it's looking fresh, all. honestly. I'm not too. I, I wouldn't be upset to go ahead and don don that armor. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, really that armor like, looks so these, sick, actually. So we're working it on looks this stuff cool. because we we're kind of waiting to finally see that that set and finally being able to equip it in game was just such a cool experience. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> all right, so we're obviously equipped. We've got an armor set that we're going to go ahead and be chasing down, but. Uh, we're now hanging out with with Shax, and is, is that our site over there as well? Yes, that is our site. Um, mm. One other, one last chest I want to point out here. Oh, too. please! This one is going to be your hub for um, just grinding out weapons. So uh, th those those uh, trophies that you'll be collecting with Shax, you can just keep redeeming them here, um, and you'll be able to get all your guns here. Um, and mm. this one here is uh, we're bringing back the gift of the thunder gods. Uh, so if you need to catch up on your power level to make sure that you're like ready to hop right in, that's something you can do as well. Sweet. Oh, that's right. And honestly, it's been an, okay. It's, uh, the, again, I guess a reminder. This is available I mean, to all players. And so if you've got any friends that maybe aren't quite kind of odd that they're bringing actually, back that check, bundle again, up to I, it would be nice powerful. if they did a different that's bundle. Right. But okay, perfect. All right. So for your friends that want to go ahead and dive in right alongside you, even if they maybe haven't played, you know, very much recently, they got a chance to go ahead and just catch right up. They'll be ready. Be ready for day one. That's yeah. right. Okay, hmm. perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to Shax actually as a starting point. So how are we going to be working with Shax? Obviously, he's opened up his den of antiquities to us. But uh, Kelsey, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we need to pull out all the stops in defeating the witness. So uh, Shax has opened up his brave arsenal for us. And as you can see, Shax is really like the shining star of this area. We've been I've been kind of panning by all these hollow Shaxes that line the space, which I'll be happy to talk about in a moment. Oh yes. Um, but yeah, let's 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 go talk to him and see what he's got. Um, so uh, over the oh wow, so he really has as you come like a traditional earn, vendor. Uh, okay. Reputation with him. That's You're pretty be able cool. To progress and get all this this cool stuff. Mm -hmm. um, one thing in particular I want to point out. Interesting. This super key. black key. A, a alpha. super black key. Is that is that what I'm seeing over there, Kelsey? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and I wonder where that goes. Um, so. Maybe, maybe hmm. people that are D1 vets potentially from back in the day might r remember this. Is this a, what's this, what's this symbiote we're looking back at like, <laughs> back here? Yeah, right now it's, it's pretty powerful. It's in containment. But if what? you keep playing into the light, you'll be able to get access to the keys you need to unlock this. Um, oh. Get access to the shader. Oh, so good. All right. So I'm obviously, trying to too, remember, yes, like, reminder, what? Uh, heads up to everyone. So isn't that the, the thing from the Black Garner? Or am I tripping? Return of the Super Black Shader. Uh, it's back. Finally, it's back. Oh, the There's Super Black Shader. To go along with that, I couldn't tell you what they are, but I will say to the Destiny Fashion subreddit, uh, we are prepared for you to go ahead and take this on a whole sale. So actually, Great. let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and just equip Super Black and give it a look really quickly. Oh. Oh man. Oh wow. Chad, how do you feel? Come on. It does not get much better than that. <laughs> With that armor set too, that actually looks so sick. All right. Yeah. So Shax is obviously going to be there to help us get rewards in addition to the brave arsenal <laughs> and the armor. Oh, I want to get it. For us. I want to get uh, it. That so tell us a little so bit cool. about our site as well. Actually, he's a. Uh, he's. I'm not sure if many people in the chat know about him. He's usually lived in lore entries, but um, let's go ahead and get a look and see what we're going to be working with him on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so. int our site has a lot of quests for us. Um, okay, we've done some, wow. Some pretty interesting things, in my opinion, with with uh, some of the quests you can pick up from our site. Um, they're going to unlock a couple things. They also have very 
fun puns. Okay. That I had a, lot, a lot of fun working on. Um, so uh, for okay, every single so weapon interesting. that we're going to be talking about today, there's a corresponding quest. Um, once you've completed the quest for that weapon, you're going to be able to unlock access to that weapon dropping as rewards. But there's two other really cool things uh, that we can talk about there. Um, one, we have these special limited edition uh, appearances for the Brave <laughs> Arsenal. Yeah. Um, so completing these quests, you're going to get a guaranteed curated uh, copy of these lim limited edition weapons. Excellent. Um, which I'm happy to show. <coughs> they look rad. Um, and okay. you'll unlock attunement, which is something I can it talk about in a second. Absolutely. Make sure. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of these. So here's, here's a look, of course. Uh, Oh, the mountain top. They may, they may remember this one. Oh, I my God. Chat, yeah, I thought excited, that's what it looked uh, like. I know. It's so exciting. That's actually <laughs> so sick returned. looking. Uh, so this is uh, a quick look at the mountain top. Obviously, uh, Chris, we're going to dive in more with the whole uh, Brave Arsenal in a little bit. But this is, uh, I believe she touched on the limited edition edi versions of these, the ornaments that exist on there. Can you tell us a little bit about what the limited edition variants of these are that are available over the course of Into the Light? Sure, yeah. So the Brave Arsenal Clues. weapons. Oh, that actually looks like so slush. Cool. Uh, and Talking a little bit about I do obviously see here. some unique there perks, a, but I'm uh, curious what the uh, origin trait is. As a limited edition variant, which comes pre-equipped with a super shiny ornament that's yeah. locked to that weapon. Yeah. Uh, so the um, a transit here is uh, the limited edition <laughs> variant. I thought that looked like uh, a transit. Are, that actually is sick looking too. Of fancy. Yeah. So you can't apply shade to cool. the ornaments. You have to remove the ornaments. Oh, falling guillotine. Um, the ornaments Ooh. will only be available up until the final shape launches. I yeah. actually yeah. like falling yeah. guillotine. That looks sick. So the base will continue to be available. So this is the ultimate I was there version with the limited edition on there. But other than that, after the final shape launches, Hammerhead, come on, like, make it look good. Farming for them. Yeah, there's a, like they have super Ooh. cool visuals. They drop with uh, the hammerhead. Oh, I love how it, like it's like a chrome, other, like it changes it's, color it's as you shift it. Uh, that is so sick. It's cosmetic. It's cosmetic only. Fair enough. Makes sense. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna be getting, able to test. Come on, let me see the so, let me see the intrinsic go perk or the origin bit, perk. Chat, there's a taste of just a few. Uh, we're glad that you get a chance to go ahead and check it out. Um, but also too for the folks that want to go ahead and farm these rolls out, Kelsey, I believe you just mentioned attunement. Can you tell us a little bit more about that before we move on? Yes, I'd love to. So uh, one cool thing that you can do when completing these these weapon quests, which are available at our site, is attune to a weapon. So let's say that there's there's a weapon you really want to drop. Uh, you can bend uh, luck in your favor and make it more likely for that weapon to appear. Um, so, for example, I can do that now. Let's do, let's do, let's do Recluse. Yeah. So. Chat seems to be pretty hyped on Recluse. <laughs> so. Yeah, might um, as well. If you're looking around, you'll see there's all of these these shacks everywhere, which we just had an absolute blast uh, uh, working with and coming up with. Um, and once you've unlocked attunement, you can just freely do this at any time. You can you can change your attunement any time. Um, you can choose which weapon has a higher chance of dropping. So I'm going to do it now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Got our thumbs up. We're Get good. Get the affirmation from Shaq's never hurts. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that's actually cool. So you have the ability hurts, to... <laughs> he shouts them very effectively, I might add. Select which yes. one you want, like, um, so, try to go for the roll. Okay, so yeah, I like um, that. That's point, um, nice. You can just visit another one. I could even just go and... You know, on a tune and, and reattune to my heart's content. Just once, once you've once you've unlocked it, you can do that at any time. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, pick, pick pick your favorites that you want to chase and. And, uh, you'll have much yeah, that's actually kind of nice. Excellent. All right. Obviously, the uh, the Hall of Champions has a lot in store. There's even more, obviously, chat than is even here. But uh, we see what you're saying in chat. I feel the electricity in the air. I should also note one more thing. Uh, you should all go out and farm with impunity to go ahead and get the rolls you want, ultimately, because with the arrival of the final shape, we'll indeed be adding 100 more vault slots. So go out there, grab okay. the rolls, grab 100 more vault slots. I like to get that. A chance to Google which one has the god roll. All up to you. But. We just wanted to let you know that with the arrival of the final shape, you'll be getting 100 more fault slots. So go ahead and dive on in and Oh, grab so each one of those chase. different rooms also has a different entombment. Uh, and like, all right. Elsie's rifle. I think wow. that's a solid tour of oh, the Hall of Champions. Oh, I just noticed um, this too. Shax is holding point, each of the different dive weapons. Dive I just noticed. The brave he was holding the recluse yeah, in his I'll hand and the uh, one in the hallway. It looked like he was there the yeah. one that you kind of saw a quick glimpse of. As a had a at the Hall of Champions as well. That's cool. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and dive on in and look at the Brave Arsenal. Um, now, Chris, obviously you were intrinsically involved with kind of setting this whole thing up, with building the Brave <laughs> Arsenal, deciding what was out there. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about 
you know, how you guys landed on this iconic set of, of Destiny weapons for Into the Light. Yeah, I mean, we all have our own favorite weapons internally uh, and wanted to make sure that we delivered on a ton of nostalgia for the whole, uh, like, Destiny 2 weapon set. Yeah. If you look on Reddit or Twitter, there are, you know, hundreds of weapons that these could be. <laughs> yeah. We had to narrow it down to 12. It's like we couldn't reasonably fit any more into the activity. Blast, yeah. oh, we blast burns. That's the one I can think of. Any more than that. Oh, there my God, so that uh, looks so cool. Yeah, a whole set of weapons from across uh, <laughs> Disney's history. A few recent Wow, ones, uh, blast furnace actually looks from so sick. Yeah. History. So for those who have been terrorized by Mount blast top, furnace, blast it's back furnace. now. Yeah. I see Hun yeah, Jury. Yeah, Tom, let's go ahead and just kind of what's, walk uh, through uh, what's these. What's that one on the way on the left? I don't. Hun I see next as well. Sure, I can just, do you want me to just mouse over him here? Blast furnace. Blast furnace. Hun Jury. Jury returns as well. Succession. Succession. Uh, okay, for anyone cool. anyone that hasn't had a chance to dive into Deep Stone Crypt, they can get a, their hands on a raid weapon as well. Yeah, I should just touch on oh, that. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, what I thought Succession was. was. That's right. Well, these are fairly recent okay, that's movies, cool. But they are, by default, you have to own the release that those raids came out in. So you have to own Beyond Light if you want to get Succession. You have right. to own Witch Queen if you want to get Forbearance. Yeah. The uh, Onslaught versions of these weapons, or the Brave Arsenal versions, are available to all players. So you get a taste nice. of what... Like okay, and that's the origin for Final Blows, yeah. Grand Grenade. And Which, honestly, once you get successful, oh my God. Game, suddenly everything feels so alive. Like, it's just, it's Hold like on, I just want to go back just Which, to see what that, that intrinsic players, perk was. So I'll, I'll get back to the live stream in a second. Indom its ability. Final Blows, Grand Grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy and when playing a darkness subclass. Okay, yeah. that's actually honestly, really in your hand, cool. That's interesting. So like, if you're just, using these like weapons, depending on which, uh, let's see, we also have, how you make your builds. Go, that'd be nuts. Uh, for anyone who watched last week, thank you, Noah, as well for going. Yeah, ahead and so us cool. Off. Uh, oh Haku my god, makes an incredibly triumphant Dude, return. I just love the shader uh, just, too, can you like the it, more, like the color the design. How it just like. There we go. There we go. That never gets old, honestly. Harkens back to one of my favorite times in the Black Armory. That is just all right, so, so we have nice. a full list here. So we've gone over uh, all of them in the primary slot. Um, let's go ahead and move on down to the uh, the green ammo yeah. as well. Obviously, so recluse, recluse chat. Right. You've all noticed that. We're Wait, just why does it look like there's you are. two different recluses? Um, it looks like. Let's go ahead and take like. a look at what else we got in the store there. Luna. Oh, Luna's, Luna's Howl. Howl. Okay, Actually, yeah, that's. In uh, particular with Luna's Howl, I know we were talking about a this nice a little one. bit earlier, but you know, these weapons are not necessarily their their previous estate, just kind of held in stasis. But you guys have brought them forward with new perks. You've kind of done some redesigns as well. Um, with Luna Howls in particular, you were mentioning that uh, the Magnificent Howl perk has undergone a rework as well. Uh, yeah, in its original shipping form, uh, that was Remember way precision, too strong. Precision, final blows before reloading. <laughs> uh, two type of guardian, additional range PvP, damage, precision, final blows with maximum power. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ooh, that's actually really nice. That's cool. So uh, we've brought Luna's Hell forward as a Dude. 140 RPM hand cannon. I just love the, the, the shape, the new shader the concept yeah. on these. The new the like gun wraps on it. It looks so uh, nice, so and the fact that warps. I can't, I can't get over that. That looks so cool. Uh, a little bit reminiscent of, of Hawkmoon. Yeah. Uh, with precision final blows. Yeah. Uh, and then you can unleash those on guardians to do massive damage. You can get a two tap, mm. but it requires a little bit more effort. Yeah. And obviously very strong in PVE as well. Yeah. Got to bide your time and actually land those headshots. Yeah. I'm saying that mostly to myself in the mirror as I <laughs> as I get upset. And for losing another round of trials, but so we had uh, two hand cannons in this release: Midnight Coup and Luna's Howl. That's right. Yeah. Um, nice. We assigned those okay. to two different designers. I still yeah. think that look. The one right below Luna's Howl does right look <laughs> like so, some other so everyone recluse. Out there chat like, right now is there an adept version? Which one of those two ends up being their favorite? Yep. We yeah. have an actual debt to settle internally here. By the yeah, sound why? Of the which one do you think is going to win, Chris? One looks different than the other. Uh, one. I'm a little biased. Little biased. Have you guys seen I, that? That recluse looks different than the one below it for some. Reasons. Oh, yeah. Is that like Deeply because it's masterwork to me? All right, we'll see. Let's see here. All right. Uh, also, Elsie's. So actually, here's a cool one as well. Yeah. Uh, this is no longer the stranger's rifle. This is Elsie's rifle now. Oh, yeah, just Elsie's no rifle. Okay. Right, yeah. Oh, so literally, yeah, it's a, a legendary really version of the. That everyone who played through the Destiny One campaign. Would oh, that's right. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. back from D One because Destiny One used to be Elsie's rifle. That's what it used to be the original name. Updated for the Destiny Two sandbox. It's got. Uh, stream with no one right traits. right now, really just doing really the reaction really to this, uh, and then afterwards, yeah. uh, um, we'll be again live on Destiny 2, guys. Rounds, hook, uh, oh, I, I still cannot get over. I mean, yeah. that uh, the, the shader concept looks so cool, how it, like, it 
tr transforms as the gun rotates and everything like that. Like, I love shaders that do that type of stuff. Zen moment and Desperado on there. Like, yeah, Zen moment and Desperado. Yeah. God, that's, get colder or what's that's a filthy perk uh, combo. And also, too, so there's a new, actually, as long as we're there, um, Tom, if you wouldn't mind actually opening that back up, there's a new Origins trait, Origin yeah. trait, pardon me, as well on these. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, yeah, the Indomitability trait, uh, final blows with a light subclass equipped grenade, uh, grant grenade energy and with the dark subclass equipped grant melee energy. Excellent. Uh, so you get like that sort of duality and they're, they're reasonably strong perks. Yeah, designed to keep you in the fight either way. Yep. So, I'm right, actually Tom, interested to see which different here? ones I would do for, ba barons. for Barons. Oh about, my God, for Barons is a good weapons. grenade yeah. launcher. Uh, how did you guys go ahead and bring four barons forward also too into the light like what did you add new perks into the pool or what did you guys end up doing to kind of retain that classic feel? oh i love yeah so we wanted it to feel like doc 69 uh, thanks so much for the gifted mm -hmm. dude holy shit. Perks. So appreciate it my man are fairly similar but with a couple of spicy additions so we'll notice disruption break left column on a away frame grenade dude launcher. that's for barons the way that looks with that new like shader on it that is so dope yeah that's like the best for barons it's actually the one weapon i want to get i i would grind for from uh yeah oh it looks so good with that from uh uh i think that was that a a limited edition ornament on the recluse as well that you have over there yep there's a base and look at the oh let's take a look yeah i'm curious let me there we go. That's again the ultimate. I was there. As you go ahead and begin your showdown with the witness, not with bad. The, level of the final shape. Well, wait, it doesn't hurt to have one of these sitting on your hip. Obviously, to go ahead and make a statement. That's cool. But what's the difference the between the other one? Like just the front yeah, looks this different. This one is the uh, the curated version. The natural drops of mm -hmm. the limited edition variants do have um, double double percal. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Excellent. And of course. Our beloved edge, edge transit tra I, yeah, couldn't keep it away that, from that too. edge transit was such um, a fucking weapons. meme weapon back when this game so, came out because yeah. like every yeah. the reason that i'm not surprised they did edge transit because every yeah. time kidding, you got a legendary <laughs> engram it was yeah. constantly edge transit like every time i got a weapon it was edge transit edge transit edge transit over and over again it became a meme ton of bricks now oh yeah you can see some of the perks there it's uh it's pretty wild I mean, honestly, Cascade yeah, point, pretty, auto loading, frenzy with the, oh, my God, oh my God, that thing's got deconstruction. Oh no, that uh, that might actually switch up row. the uh, weapon I have in my falling guillotine. Now, actually, that or falling that, guillotine, that depending on uh, what so we were kind of talking about this earlier as well. That Ooh, was kind of cool. This thing's got This is also going to be probably the first sword outside of those available in Crota's End, I believe, that has sword logic on it as well. Uh, yeah, that's right. roll with sword logic. Seemed like a great opportunity to uh, put that perk on something that isn't from that raid. And yeah. A little bit earlier than we would normally put uh, raid perks onto a new weapon. Yeah. I'm also going to echo like chat that. here for a second. Is that Eager Edge I see on there? That is an Eager Edge. Yep, yeah, Eager yeah, Edge. Be the wow. Second Eager. sword outside of. Um, Eager's Edge with chain yeah, reaction on a Vortex yeah. sword. Oh, that uh, that's and then the, disgusting. Uh, the Especially if from, you yeah, yeah, that's rock it with the Vol Tower on build. That's going to be nasty. And this one has like the classic Void perk. Uh, combo of a repulsive brace. Yeah. Destabilizing rounds. It's been fun. Oh, it's that one too. That could be a good one too. Old, honestly, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we're also joined by. Oh, Hammerhead. 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 I just realized Hammerhead. all the as heavy as weapons that, that they're being introduced are all void. This is obviously one that has to come forward. But yeah, I. Oh. Uh, yeah, seriously. I think actually that it might be the, the best one. Fire, if I'm going to add a new void weapon to my arsenal, it's going to be Hammerhead. Uh, it was fantastic. All right, so we have a whole depends on the perks. If, the, now, if Tom, you've Hammerhead some, uh, some ends up having setup, target lock some lost sectors that you with can go ahead and start something in else in it, um, that's gonna be ridiculous. I thought you go in there and start tearing it up. <laughs> We're already there. Okay, uh, that's fantastic. The classic mountaintop recluse combo here. Yeah, and there's some new stuff with Did uh, the frame too, where you can no rocket jump. <laughs> that's right. So I was actually I'm so oh, glad I forgot you, you could do that because, with mountain top. That's actually uh, one of the things that we'll was really that cool about sort of seeing this development process. Jeez, you get a launch was, that You know, thing. obviously one of the core tenets was to make sure that you're retaining that classic feel of these weapons and kind of what yeah. made them so great to begin with. But you've kind of done some redesigns and expanded even just on the on the loot pool or pardon me on the perk pool rather. Um, how did you guys kind of go about the process of sort of rebuilding these weapons for this modern era of Destiny. Yeah, I mean, we held off on bringing Mountaintop uh, into the sort of modern Destiny because it was just way too strong in both PvP and in PvE. Yeah. Uh, in PvP, it was like a, a pretty unpleasant meta when Mountaintop was part of everyone's <laughs> loadout, so we, we definitely didn't want it to be able to one-hit kill uh, even with a direct hit in PvP anymore. Fair. So we've reduced that a little bit. 
Uh, but we also fair, um, fair saw enough. how excited people were for the Danger Zone rocket launcher perk, uh, yeah. launching you into the air. So we've made that part of the base behavior of the new um, micro missile frame grenade launcher intrinsic. Yeah. So on, someone super use a use a, the shuriken so we can see how much the uh, yeah. um, the, uh, the 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 how much the perk gives you. Are just suddenly dusting off their rocket launchers yeah. in real time right now, obviously. Uh, so obviously, too, is you know going ahead and adding just not only to the the perk pool, but kind of the intrinsic feel of these weapons. Uh, were there any others in particular when you guys were working on them where you're like, yes, this is this is how this change needs to go? Like obviously, yeah. magnificent howl got a change, but is there anything else in that pool that feels like it was really kind of a cool leap forward for these weapons? Uh, I think blast furnace is a good example because the yeah. black armory version rolled with scopes, mm -hmm. uh, which like everyone would just. Pick the best scope. Like internally, we felt like the Rasmussen ISA yeah. scope was um, like by far the best. Really, really clean. Yeah. Um, and with the changes to uh, damage fall off on weapons, zoom doesn't matter that much anymore anyway. Yeah. So it comes pre-equipped with that scope geometry, but it can roll barrels instead. So you get all the benefits of stats. Oh, awesome. Stats are already pretty juiced. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but you have that that classic scope geo. Actually, also, too, to channel chat one more time, mm -hmm. uh, as a quick heads up as well, these weapons, while they won't be craftable, they are going to be enhanceable, is that correct? Correct, yeah. So uh, these weapons will retroactively be enhanceable when the final shape comes out. So any drops that you get uh, during this initial period, you'll be able to enhance them. Excellent, okay. okay. So you want to make sure to really hold on to those little, that light dot. I am a little disappointed they're not craftable, yeah. but considering the right, attunement so have, process you, you that allows you to get the ability to focus to or yeah. get a higher rate drop of nice what weapons you like specifically <laughs> want to try to grind the perks on. Uh, Kelsey, actually, too, on, on your side, you know, obviously having this new tapestry of rewards to work with has been pretty exciting. As you kind of went ahead and sort of hatched your plans of how players would go about getting these, kind of what role did, did these weapons play, I guess, in the overall reward structure? Yeah, of course. Uh, so we wanted the rewards of this release to be all about the weapons and yeah the shining stars they're they're awesome um so uh i saw people were asking a little bit about what we're going to be getting from onslaught yeah there's a there's a lot of chests in there um and every single chest has a weapon in it um and all of those chests can uh can can react to attunement so if you tune to a weapon anytime you see a chest it's going to happen so excellent uh every hmm. every way every set not every wave that'd be crazy every every <laughs> set uh there's a chest with a weapon in it if you do it at higher difficulty there yeah. are two chests they both have weapons in them and if you keep the adu alive throughout the entirety of onslaught there's another bonus chest available um so you can get a lot if you if you just keep yourself kicking and, yeah. and get all the way through there keep the huh. adu up uh there's a lot of guns to be had. I like Those that. The fact that the more you keep progressing, the more rewards you're gonna be well rewarded for those efforts. Yeah, that's yeah. literally. They kind of feel <laughs> like they I, took a, myself, a page from that well, from. Um, home, who might be listening? Uh, to, what from uh, oh, what am I thinking here? Sorry, guys. Yeah. From it's, from the uh, coil. You know, the more you keep progressing from, the better the rewards you're gonna get. I like that. I like that a lot. Like you will get your like blast furnace dropping from the chest. You don't have to go and focus it or anything like that. Yeah. Which yeah, we love that. Actually, also too is you know you guys are also players of the game. Chris, were there come any on, goals dude, or weapons come in particular? Come on, use melee. I want to see how much melee energy you get back if you like how much weapons, my favorite the is ability weapons. energy yeah. you get uh, with that, that classic scope and uh, the role that I've got on mine, the role that I'm going to try and get in retail, yeah. is uh, head seeker kill clip, which oh. is like just really nasty in PvP. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm definitely going to. I'll put another few hundred hours. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right there with you, honestly. The moment I can put Dead Man's Tail down again, then that will be the one that'll pick up immediately after. <laughs> uh, Kelsey, also too, is you know, I know we were talking a little bit earlier. You've been deep into the onslaught playtests as well, so that means in addition to the Brave Arsenal, you've got everything else at your beck and call. What are some <laughs> cool builds you've been working on, honestly, to go ahead and really emphasize these new weapons? Yeah, um, I've been I've been really enjoying uh, Solar Solar Warlock. I found is really really fun in onslaught because you can find a lane and just completely nuke it if you get your like unlimited grenades going you can just completely destroy it. so i've been really partial to uh luna's howl uh i <laughs> um yeah i, yeah, I, I mean that's a little, fair uh, a little feral a little too excited so i might actually put luna's howl uh, on that, that my solar hunter, hunter build ADU depending up. on it's what like, it's part of you got to be roles in the fight as much able as to drop and i, I say think that i might be able to do that who crutches on invisibility and runs away right away so i understand and respect the hustle that i don't end up having uh also too we got a question from chat uh from lil Camino, I think is how you pronounce the name. My, my mistake if you, if you get it correct. Um, but just to re 
reiterate, uh, will these weapons be attainable after the final shape arrives? Uh, yes, the base weapons will be, mm -hmm. uh, but the limited edition variants with those uh, sweet ornaments will not. Excellent. All right. So again, make sure you go ahead and dive on in once uh, Into the Light is here. and Make sure you get that, that I was there card, more or less. At least, again, speaking for myself. Uh, so also, too, is I heard you guys mention briefly curated roles as well, because kind of like a part of the, the quest uh, process, was it, with Shaxx? Or our site, rather. Oh, with our site, yes. Thank you. That's right. So is this one that you guys have set up where it's like, this is this is the go-to role? This is, our, from our opinion, like one of our favorites? Or um, what was the process of kind of building those curated roles? Uh, yeah, we try to deliver something which is like an extremely good role, mm -hmm. not necessarily the single perfect role, because we want you to have a reason to go in and get excited for those drops. Yeah. Um, but like we would say, they're a 70-80% god role. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. On the way, certainly. Yeah. And also, too, is remember, everyone, we're getting 100 more vault slots once the final shape comes out, so go ahead and just farm away. Now's the time. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Kelsey, were you going to say something more? Yeah, we also just w wanted to make sure people weren't completely at the mercy of RNG when it comes to getting these limited edition variants. Mm -hmm. So if you log in, you do those quests at our site, um, you can get one guaranteed copy of a limited edition of each weapon with, a, with that curated tool. Yeah. See, we're getting, again, I, I think, obviously, Tom is here in the heat of battle, so to speak, but um, the uh, the origin trait, we just got another question about, actually. Mm. So, for the folks at home, it is, it's indomitability, or? Yes. Thank you, all right. And that one, uh, can you, again, walk through that, that origin trait for us one more time? Uh, yeah, so on, on Final Blows, it grants you uh, grenade energy if you're running a light subclass. Oh, here we go, we got it on screen. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, which would be Arc Void or Solo, mm -hmm. uh, or melee energy if you're running a darkness subclass, which would be Smart. Stasis or Strand. Got it. Okay, so I can go in there as a stasis man and just throw all the shurikens I possibly have. Yeah, there's a more technical thing for that. I'm sorry, I got it wrong <laughs> out of the gate. Uh, all right, let's see here. Um, and also, too, actually, uh, you know, we talked kind of at the beginning about what it was like to sort of pare down this list mm. of, of weapons down to 12. Can you tell us a little bit about that process? I can't imagine it was anywhere near as simple. <laughs> 12 was a really small number when you're looking at that, uh, that set of weapons. And yeah. if we'd gone by... Uh, lists on the internet or even internally yeah. could easily have ended up being half hand cannons. We had to restricted <laughs> ourselves to two. Fair. There were a lot that could easily have made the cut that we yeah. just, just couldn't we just couldn't fit them in. That's fair. I mean honestly though, yeah. between Midnight Coup and Lunas Howell, like a very, very solid cast to go ahead and come out of the gate here with. Oh yeah. 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 They're they're really strong. And they, yeah, uh, we definitely wanted to get that that spread of experience across the, the first few years of Destiny two as well. Yeah, honestly. And also too is even, you know, recalling all the way back to the Black Armory, you know, that's I think a, a, a set of weapons that so many of us think back to so fondly. Um, you know, again, I think one of the goals here was to go ahead and retain that original feel. Um, you know, you guys went ahead and added in a bunch of new perks. Can you tell us what that process was? like in terms of making sure those perks matched up with that feel of the weapon? Yeah, and in cases where we have multiple weapons in the same archetype shipping, so we've got two pulse rifles, two hand cannons, uh, we assigned those to different designers and like made sure that the, uh, the roles that they occupy in the sandbox was sufficiently different. Um, we also would look at the most popular roles that the weapons had originally and make sure that those still appear uh, by the weapons. It meant having to redesign some perks, which would be too strong in today's sandbox, Yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, and then introducing, like when you, when you go and you look at uh, a blast furnace in your vault or something, you're like, man, I wish I could roll X perk that came out after that, right? Like, yeah. And made sure we put a few of those in there as well. Yeah. And there's also, uh, um, I'm not sure if we've seen mail, it on screen yet, but there's a new the shirk and just see how much we get. Pool as well, won't there? With the uh, yeah, there is. There's, uh, in this I want to see like how much last stand. Uh, the um, name is different. Yeah. Melee or uh, yeah, grenade energy it gives you because the, um, that'd be interesting that to see because it Tom's says because with the entrancing. It was on blast furnace, I think. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right, well, we'll, let, we'll let him defend himself <laughs> oh, yes. briefly. Uh, but we do have a, a couple questions from chat as well. Um, uh, so there's one that asks, uh, Flo's Knuckles, I believe. There we go. Can we grind Onslaught multiple times for multiple drops? I'm assuming this is just go ahead and dive on it and grind to your heart's content. Yes, you'll be getting you'll get it, getting weapons every run. You'll also be getting uh, currency from shacks that mm -hmm. you can you can bring back and you can uh, throw in that chest that I showed you so you can just keep opening that chest. Uh, so... Just, yeah, just keep going. Dive on in, honestly. Yeah, go ahead and chase that roll, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, also, too, one more quick question from chat. Last stand uh, would be crazy. Mega 125358, pardon me, Mega, uh, asks, can you take the limited edition ornament off and put it on another copy of the weapon, or is it just on that one weapon? So you can remove it. You can't put it on something else. It's cool. locked to the weapon that it dropped on. Makes sense, yeah. 
I mean, honestly, when it looks that good, you just gotta go ahead and stick with what you got, you know? <laughs> yeah, if players have a favorite shader that they want to put on a weapon, they can remove it and put the shader on. Yeah, that's true. Hard shade the ornament. You can go ahead and photo finish it up to your heart's yeah, content, yeah. obviously, that opportunity. Or super black, obviously, when the time arrives. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, photo finish has to be one of my personal So, Tom, what are you favorite, running right now? Uh, I've just been hopping around with all the weapons here. Now I've got Blast Furnace and Elsie's rifle on. I know double primary isn't always meta, but... <laughs> We're gonna make it meta for the sake of this. They're both pretty, pretty, pretty solid weapons. <laughs> for the purposes of illustration. Now, here's that new perk that you both were talking about, Last Stand, on... Again, reminder, this Blast name Furnace. will be changing in, in the live version. Yep. Yeah, so weapon final grows, blows grant bonus damage. Uh, melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. So once that's you get this properly rolling, it's very strong. Yeah. That's actually crazy. That's where you go ahead and clear out a bunch of red bars wow. and then take down that yellow bar with ease if yep. you go ahead and do everything correctly. That's really cool. Yeah, it ties nicely into the origin trait as well, because the origin trait yeah. grants you... Oh my god, yeah, with the origin trait, that's insane. Bonus damage for getting ability... Final blows. Yeah, it really creates <clears throat> creates that loop. Honestly, you just become yeah. the self fulfilling prophecy of death at that point. Which, as a guardian, is never a bad place to find <laughs> yourself, frankly. Uh, let's see here. Actually, also too is you know I know we touched obviously on Chris's personal favorite being Blast Virtus. Kelsey, was there anything uh, when you saw this land back on the list of the Brave Arsenal where you were like, finally, that one's back? I was, I was, I was real excited about Luna's Hell. Luna's <laughs> Hell. I mean, that's just <laughs> smart, honestly. That just makes sense. <laughs> Tom, how about you? Is there anything in particular that, that you know, obviously having taken such a, a big hand in helping design and sort of define all this stuff, um, you know, what are your your favorite weapons and roles that have come out of this? I'm, I'm pretty pretty basic, pretty easy. I, I really am excited about Recluse uh, and, and, and Mountaintop. Yeah. Like, I, I just love that combo of being able to, like, get in close with a, an SMG and get the, get the damage perk going and feeling really powerful and then being able to switch to the grenade launcher and fire off some like little mini rockets and be able to play around with getting a little more airborne <laughs> is, is, is just like, it's just fun. You know imagine? what I just thought is a really that above me interesting that, uh, perk combo if you did it with the mountain top, to, like, you know, if like you run them with the strand build up, but it's a lot harder during, to do now. Like, I, um, I remember with mountain top back in the day, I, I would like, uh, I would if just you're playing like, shoot my feet on purpose. The crucible. <laughs> and, like, I'm wondering if like, you use the mountain top to launch you up. Then, so you can really, if you're running strand uh, hunter get a lot more up close and, personal and do the ensnaring slam, that could be a pretty nasty combo. floating up there in the sky a warlock just murdering everyone but that is to say now there's an opportunity for more than just warlocks to be the floating weapon platforms out there in the game yeah. i know kelsey i'm sorry <laughs> we, we can share <laughs> yes. we can share the abilities uh, particularly uh, with the redesign of uh, manticore there's a, a fun strategy i don't know how super effective it is but yeah. like mountaintop to launch yourself way up into the air yeah and switch over to <laughs> manticore yeah and you can just hover around just seems like a, a fever dream I had one time, honestly. <laughs> uh, also, too, for the folks at home that may not have seen the Manticore uh, kind of redesign, can you tell us a little bit, too, about how the, the intrinsic perk on that works now? Uh, yeah, so it's... The base functionality of the way you use the weapon is fairly similar. We've uh, tightened up uh, its activation, so it will no longer activate if you're running downstairs and that kind of thing, which is pretty irritating. Uh, you can also just deactivate it by holding reload, and we'll do that quick special reload animation. Oh, very nice. Before you had to wait for it to expire or, um, like, switch off the weapon. Yeah. Uh, and then the uh, catalyst, instead of just giving you uh, damage resistance, now gives you a void overshield, uh, which, oh, nice. of course, also gives you damage resistance, but yeah. can tie into void builds uh, in a, a pretty synergistic way. Oh. Very nice, honestly, yeah. Between that, That's really cool. Devour, the whole nine, obviously, Sounds there's going to be a lot of uh, oh, yeah. mobile weapons. Survivability as well. It also uh, decreases enemy accuracy against you, similar to the Always On Time Sparrow, so yeah. you've got a ton more, um, like, damage resistance, you've got an overshield, and enemies are missing you all the time, so it's uh, combined with being able to launch yourself up into the air easily with mountaintop. It's, yeah. It's good fun. That's also too, actually, uh, we got a question from chat that is, what's the difference between uh, the new perk um, mm -hmm. and uh, Golden Tricorn? They sound pretty similar. Uh, they do have kind of similar functionality. The big one is that the Golden Tricorn bonus is large, but uh, doesn't stack mm. once you get it. So um, the uptime on uh, the new perk whose name I can't remember. Yep. It's, not, it's not in this book, <laughs> we'll it. Um, is that the, up, the uptime is higher. Excellent, uh, okay. Makes oh, okay, so uh, that makes sense. Uh, okay. We got another chat as well. Uh, 
chat question for me, I should say. Uh, will the weapon ornaments for Luna's Howl and the Recluse be equipable for the new versions of those weapons? Ah, uh, yes, they will. Oh, awesome. Both for the, uh, the base versions and for the variants, you can equip any ornaments that you've got. Um, players have already noticed that uh, some of those show are showing up later in the season yeah. uh, in the Bright Dust Storm. So. For anyone out there that might uh, go ahead and check through the databases, they might have noticed something, potentially. Yep. Yeah, we can't say yes or no, but maybe. Firm maybe, certainly. <laughs> Uh, well, killing an enemy already. Right, so we're doing a pretty good job here. Tom, I gotta say, uh, it seems like you're making some pretty good, quick work of these lost sectors. Yeah, I mean, it's like he's played them before. Maybe once or twice, potentially? You never know. It did work on EDZ. It, it's been a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, actually, also, too, is, you know, as, as you've kind of been helping sort of build a lot of, of what Into the Light is going to be, um, you know, what was the role that these weapons played? Like, why is, why is Shaxx choosing now to go ahead and re-equip us with this particular set of antiquities? And part of the idea is that it's like this forbidden arsenal, right? The things that aren't, uh, that, that we've kind of set aside, at least in the Crucible and other spaces, and, and now in this, this kind of dire time with, with our backs against the wall, we need to, you know, kind of set aside uh, th those uh, conventions and, and, you know, really uh, to take every advantage we can in the fight against the witness and and kind of like you know having players in this moment you know with into the light you know it's it's, it's a great time to hop in and play if you haven't been playing or uh, if, if you want to catch up and we're gonna give you the weapons you need to be ready for the final shape like as long as you show up every week you you do the work uh, you're gonna get like an incredible arsenal yeah, particularly also, if you had been like looking at some of the uh, meta heavy grenade launchers. Yeah. You can just walk in and get extra in transit and like be like competitive already. Yeah. And also too, uh, I just got word from back at home that uh, also Noah is apparently back at home after last week's stream in chat cheering everyone on. So if everyone out there wants to give him a quick yeah, great in chat, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, all righty. <laughs> I really like auto loading host around a mountaintop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my I mean, oh, I completely yeah, forgot I've that perk was on that. Auto loading on mountaintop, that's going to be nice. Obviously, it hinges pretty heavily on auto loading holster because I never want to stop shooting any grenades. <laughs> I'm one of those. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> We're getting some love for no in the chat. All right, love to see it. Uh, so also too, actually, you know, over the course of, of developing kind of this new reward structure, was there anything about it where you're like, all right, this is this is the moment. Like onslaught is set up just right. Like what was it like, kind of building this structure for players to go ahead and just reinvest in? I guess. Yeah, I think when we finally got the loot explosion going, yeah, there's this whole conversation and how we want it to feel when you open the chest and all this stuff and and all these people working together doing tech stuff to make sure it all. It all worked great and everyone doing their part and then, you know, finally getting in there and just just running through and seeing everything just... Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess all of your work just, like, flying through the air in space <laughs> was just really satisfying and it really felt really felt like it was coming together. I'm also really partial to when we start getting um, more icons and world art coming in. The space really started to feel tangible. When Shaxx finally had the guns in his hands in the... Yeah. In the <laughs> and all the hollow Shaxxes for a while, they're just, like... That's like right. this, you know? Did you guys have that vision of the hollow shacks like right away? You were like, this is how we want it to be, or was it just, what was the evolution of that space like when you guys were building it? We got to, oh, it was really fun working with World Art and all this stuff. Um, it, 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 we had a bunch of people in the room, everyone who's dedicated to the space in some capacity, and we were just brainstorming together and, and, and laughing and coming up with all these, these fun ideas. So it was a huge collaborative process, and I think that's what's so magical about working in games, is you get to work with all these people who know all these things that you don't and make something so cool and awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, also, too, we got one more quick question from chat that caught my eye. Uh, is the Master of Arms perk as powerful as before? Uh, no, it's had to be toned down a little bit. Fair, yeah. Yeah, it's still very strong. Um, but yeah, that, that original version is pretty wild. Kind of in a league of its own, certainly. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so nice seeing Midnight Coop again. Uh, all right, Tom. So, what's your uh, your what's your what's your strat right now? Is it basically just Old West Gunslinger? I mean, I I I haven't been I haven't had a chance to play with all these guns either. <laughs> so I'm just having fun <laughs> over here. Like you guys can you can do your stream over there. I'm just gonna play uh, with, uh, with Midnight Coop here. I mean, just, oh, come on, so you kind of have to. Snappy and crispy. <laughs> like it has got to point it in the right direction. It this does a lot of the work. Uh, explosive rounds and kinetic tremors. Is that what it has? Or? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like you can just. I, you don't even really need to be that accurate, I guess, with this this roll. I can just kind of shoot around enemies 
Let's make a dance like in the old west. <laughs> Pretty sure yeah. this is still the highest aim assist of any legendary hand cannon in the game, too. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, what are some roles, by the way? So obviously, I think you know they, they each kind of have their different PvP and PvE flavors. But in in the PvE trenches, are there any roles in particular with this new kind of set of perks that you were really caught off guard by or surprised by? I mean, Firefly Kinetic Tremors is really really strong. I think that was yeah. actually the role that uh, Noah was running yeah. last week. Yeah, he was making it look pretty good, thankfully. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> Noah's all right at the game, as it turns out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? I think uh, the role that we've got here on Edge Transit, uh, which is Cascade point left column. Yeah. Uh, being able to just like mag dump yeah. uh, a whole drum grenade launcher is uh, really strong. Yeah. The right. burst damage potential is wild. Uh, and also, too, actually, uh, another question from chat. To get the double perk rolls on the weapons, yeah. do you have to do higher level onslaughts, or is there a chance for them to drop with double perks in each column regardless? Uh, there is always a chance. Um, those are the, the limited edition variants, yeah. Yeah. And also, too, just a, a quick reminder is the, the quests from Shaq, or on, on, from our site, rather, those ones have a higher chance of giving you uh, one of the limited edition variants, or? Those give you the curated ones, right? The yes, curated? those that's are the right, curated ones. So pretty much, that's just a, that's a guarantee that you can get them, but any time you get a brave weapon, there's a chance that it will it will have the double perks and the the, the awesome appearance on it. So Very cool. that was actually a really fun thing. When, once we kind of got that implemented, playing through the first time, you just naturally got one. Yeah. Like, you'll be in a play test time. Oh, I, I got one. I got yeah. a limited edition one. It's just a really fun, it's fun kinda, feeling. It's kind of, even just that excitement of, like, when you're, you know, out there doing a dungeon farm or whatever the case is, and you're checking through all the guns that are sitting in your mailbox, and you're just like, oh, that initial set of rolls is pretty cool, and then you click in, and you're like, wait, I can curate this to exactly what I want it to be. <laughs> like, that moment's always pretty rewarding, honestly. Uh, so obviously, yes. So uh, as a quick reminder to everyone in chat, so the um, the brave arsenal will be able to drop from onslaught at every stage. Was it every ten levels? Yes, every set. Excellent. Okay, set. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. See, this is <laughs> we have the experts here. Obviously. <laughs> uh, all right, Tom. What's what's next on the list? Which which lost sector is going to wilt against your powers? I think I'm gonna go and I don't know what it's called, but it's on the top of the little rocks here. I think right. Is that that's that's where it's at? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, the winding. Uh, the winding so you just go ahead and yeah, drop right on there. down in. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Those fallen aren't going to be safe for long. Yeah. <laughs> Can't die from full damage anymore. It's true. That would. Who could possibly do that? That's what we have the mountaintop to do, <laughs> or to, to use for rather to get those kills on ourselves. <laughs> and nothing <That's> there. <laughs> this is the right way. Yeah. Uh, and actually, also too. So, a lot of questions in chat about the uh, the, the pools of perks that are going to be be available. The weapons that are going to be available. Uh, you and your team over on the weapons team have also gone ahead and authored a blog that will be hitting Bungie.net tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That's going to list out all of the weapons and uh, all of the perks that can appear on them. So, yeah. Uh, no oh wow. The, the okay, that's like definitely that. one yeah. I'm going to have to. So there will be uh, plenty of opportunities for all the build crafters out there to go ahead and go Keep, nuts uh, and kind of imagine Nira their most exciting or an eye opportunity for that uh, post. <laughs> Uh, actually, so also too, you know, we've talked a lot about the Brave Arsenal. Let's go ahead and touch on um, the the parade set again. Um, what was kind of the inspiration behind that set and kind of bringing it forward now? This is kind of like a first full, full circle moment, rather that I know Tom was mentioning. But you know, why is Shax choosing now to equip us with this armor set? Uh, I frankly wasn't as as involved in those kind of conversations. No, it's okay. We actually, it was actually really really uh, here we go. Fun. Uh, oh, nice. beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Kind of waiting to see like how how we're going to end up looking in the end, because we weren't yeah. really sure right away which armor set we were getting. And we Here were we go. So excited to yep. see him in the... Oh, I just love the all-black shader. I yeah, love it was, that. I think, honestly, that first look at them so in, nice. the, uh, in the key art, you know? Obviously, there was an initial glimpse, yeah. and it's weird because even as good as they looked, they were almost like everyone was just immediately captivated by Onslaught, immediately captivated by, like, is that is that Blast Furnace in that Warlock's hands? Who knows? If you're trying to bring back players' favorites, like, there was so much nostalgia for that uh, parade armor set. Yeah. Like, bring that back and updating it a little bit. Like, yeah. I still run the... Um, the parade armor sets uh, on, on my character from yeah. time to time. Well. Gotta have that classic look, obviously. Yeah. And obviously getting a chance to go ahead and chase down Super Black doesn't hurt either. Mm -hmm. Looks very cool when you break it out of containment. Too. <laughs> Won't say much. Excellent, alrighty. Uh, so let's go ahead and take one more quick run through. So this, uh, is there anything else actually? So I know we've had a chance to walk through the Brave Arsenal. Uh, Tom, in particular on your side, um, you know, we've gone ahead and kind of gone around the horn over here. 
Uh, is there anything about this this kind of new set of weapons and sort of the role they play and into the light that, that's got you excited about kind of the overall sandbox now that we're going to have available to us? I'm really excited about the, 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 a lot of these weapons are, 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 they're not god rolls, but they're pretty close to it. Like if you show up uh, every week and you do the weekly quest, you're going to get something that is really pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's going to be like, for example, just looking at like the hammerhead here, it's got rampage and killing tally on it. That's just incredible. Never stops like, that is a really good perk combo. Stops firing, right? yeah. like, and then you're also increasing damage every time you take an enemy out, which is cool. And I could, I could look at each one of these weapons too, and they, they like, um, I think we might have glossed over it earlier, but the edge transit with cascade point, like you get a kill and then you can dump the whole mag in like two or three seconds, which is, is really <laughs> powerful. And I think people are gonna find a lot of great synergies between these weapons. Like I was even, yeah, like Mountaintop, uh, Recluse and Cascade, uh, Edge Transit felt great. Like I could like use the SMG, uh, like, I, like, while well, my, my Mountaintop is reloading and then, and then like getting kills with those activates Cascade Point and I could swap over and dump the mag for Edge Transit. And like, I could see similar things with Hammerhead uh, and Forbearance or um, with uh, Elsie's Rifle. Yeah. Um, and then like, there's also just some some classic weapons here that I really miss. That I'm I'm really excited for Blast Furnace to be back, and I'm excited to see what it does to the meta with these being like relevant in the power game again and being something that is accessible to to, to, to players new and old. Yeah, someone who spends a lot of time in the Crucible, uh, I'm terrified already. <laughs> Proctor, thank you very much for all the hard work on that. <laughs> see you and yours, obviously. Uh, all right, so I think we're probably getting to a point now. We've gone ahead and checked out the, uh, the the rewards, we've checked out the new social space, we've checked out the Brave Arsenal. Um, it's probably about time for us to go ahead and start wrapping things up here. Uh, Mr. Tom Farnsworth, when you get an opportunity, feel free to go ahead and rejoin us. Relinquish your hold from the throne world, obviously. Uh, that was, I'm curious what so they're going to be talking jump, about uh, order, for... Uh, I hear it's lovely this time of year out there in the throne the, world. Uh, yeah, I mean... It, 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 during been, the next it, broadcast. It, 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 uh, Kelsey, keep it warm for me in there. That's true. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, and again, we can use some sword logic later to expand it when the time comes. Yeah. But for right now, we've gone ahead and done our job. Uh, well, for starters, uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to join us to talk us through, obviously, the the, champ the Hall of Champions, talk us to the Brave Arsenal, through everything with Into the Light. Uh, it's been a great show. So thank you guys for starters for taking the time to join us today. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. yeah, thanks. <laughs> Absolutely, and also to, uh, as a quick reminder again to everyone, uh, we'll be back next week, the same bungee time, same bungee place, to, to have another live stream about everything, or some more stuff coming with Destiny 2 Into the Light, uh, including some exotic mission, uh, some, pardon me, some exotic mission content and the craftable weapons that'll be available to them. Chat, I saw you mentioning some stuff about that potentially, so come back next week. Uh, also, Ooh. we'll be going to go ahead and walk okay. through the PvP map pack as well, so if you want to see everything that's going to be coming in those three maps, next week will be your time, and uh, there might be a few more additional surprises that we'll have in store for you. Never know, but, and also too, the final thing we're gonna go ahead and make sure you close with is, as a quick reminder, of course, with the arrival of the final shape, you'll be able to get 100 more slots in your vault. Uh, <laughs> as you can go ahead and see here on camera, we put it to good use ourselves. We had ah. some edge transit rolls. Ah, we knew ah, that this ah. was the time and place to go. Oh, ahead and that's on actually there. hilarious. Uh, so we now have that's those, so thankfully, uh, in safekeeping now for the arrival of the witness. Ready never hurts. All right, everyone. Well, thank you all so much for taking time, taking the time to join us today. Uh, we'll see you back here next week at the same bungee time, same bungee place. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you all star side. All right. Can't wait for next week's stream. So, new, wep new returning weapons, love that. More vault space, kind of nice. And of course, the new public space looks sick. Let me get, uh, make sure you let me know in the comments, guys, what your favorite part of the live stream was, what you're most excited for. Uh, again, I guess we'll see what uh, next week's live stream brings. I'm super excited for it.